Hello, this is Denver Riddle with Color Grading Central. We've now reached the last step in our order of operation workflow, and that is focusing. So I'm going to share with you in this tutorial how focusing can be the last thing to put your grade right over the top. So what am I talking about with this focus thing? Well, a large part of what we do as colorists is to focus our audience's attention. We can do this in Final Cut Pro 10 with the Shape Mask tool and the concept of contrast. So where do we begin? Well, we'll start with identifying what or whom we want to focus on in the shot. Add a shape, then add some contrast by making adjustments to the inside and the outside of the shape. Let's first start by focusing with contrast of light and dark. With the shape already added, I'll jump to the outside of the mask and bring the exposure down a little bit in the midtones. Next, I'll jump to the inside of the mask and I'll bring the exposure up a little bit in the midtones and the highlights. Now the reason that this works is that our eyes are drawn to the lighter parts of the image and the darkest parts tend to recede. This focuses our eyes on the things that are the most important in the shot. We'll also want to be sure that the shape doesn't bring too much attention to itself and so we'll add some softening. The idea here is that we want to create focus without bringing attention to our mask. We want the effect, but we want it to be transparent to our audience. Moving on, we'll create focus with contrast itself. What I mean by this is we can create contrast on the inside of our mask. And then jumping to the outside of our mask, we can lessen the contrast. The contrast to your parts of the image will attract our eye. So this is how we'll do it. On the outside of our mask, I'll bring up the shadows and lower the highlights just a little bit. Then jumping to the inside of the mask, I'll increase the contrast by lowering the shadows and raising the highlights. Okay, the last one we'll be covering is contrast of saturation. Our eyes tend to be drawn to colors that have more saturation, so we'll do this by increasing the saturation inside our mask and then reducing the saturation on the outside of our mask. Now we don't want to go overboard on any of our adjustments because that will bring attention to them and we don't want that. Now let me show you how we can use all three of these focusing techniques for maximum effect. I'll show this to you by toggling the other two corrections on. And voila! We have some really nice focusing that draws our eyes into the talent. You know, focusing just really adds a nice finishing touch to our grading. So I hope that you use it in your color grading. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful and it's been a pleasure for me to create these tutorials. If you have any questions, any questions at all, please, please don't hesitate to ask and I'll do my very best to get back with you as soon as possible to answer any questions you have. Thanks for watching.